Uh, hey everybody, uh, just gonna demo, uh, well I'm gonna do an instructional video here on how to uh, record guitarism into GarageBand since GarageBand's recently become audio bus compatible. This is a question a lot of people might want to know. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is open up a GarageBand in my output of audio bus here. Whoops. I'll click it again to open. Alright, now I'm going to open Guitarism in my input. The icon for Guitarism is going to change by the time you get this, but... I'll put Amp Kit as my effect for Guitarism. I'll go back to Amp Kit here and uh, open up the little audio bus panel where we have a, a preview chord for Guitarism. See, obviously... This is not the not the the setting we want. We'll try this nice acoustic one here. Turn off my noise gate. I don't need that. Oh, much better. Turn this down a little bit. Perfect. All right, that's all we need to do in there. We got our we got our sound how we want it. So um, we'll go over to GarageBand now. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is click this little plus symbol down here. And open up. Uh, you scroll through until you find this audio recorder. Looks like a microphone. Now uh, we should be getting the sound. As you can see, the sound's coming through Audio Bus and directly into GarageBand here. So, as far as we are concerned, we are ready to to start rolling. Uh, the song is rewinded. All right, so let's go over here and check this out. Alright, so let me open up this panel here, and uh, I'll start the recording. And, uh, well, this is just a little uh, a little piano piece I've put together here just for this video. Uh, just a, a grand piano and uh, an electric piano inside GarageBand. And I'm just going to lay down a little, some, a little bit of chords over top of it. So here we go. That's about it for that. Got a recording here, so I'll stop my recording. And I'll return to GarageBand. Sorry, because of the the way the orientation in guitarism works, sometimes the audio bus menu appears upside down. Just open the this little thing, the uh, the internal menu inside guitarism and it corrects itself. I don't I don't really know why so buggy with that but not a huge problem anyways go back to GarageBand here as you know if you've ever recorded anything through the audio recorder inside GarageBand you can you get these options here where uh, you can add small room large room all, all kinds of reverb and uh, this is a bullhorn and monster voice robot voice chipmunk voice uh, not really anything I'm just gonna leave it in the dry mode here so we'll go to our track view where you can see it's imported the guitarism icon and uh, we have our sound file that I've made up here uh, and that's our recording so what I can do I'll just hit play let you listen to it a little bit here and uh, we can go through and uh, 
config this a little bit better so it sits nicely in the mix. So that's pretty much it. Um, very, very easy to record into GarageBand. And obviously, if you want to start your recording later on in the song, just move your little cursor to where you want to start the recording, go to your app, and hit the record button. It should start right where you left off. But that's it. Very, very simple to record guitarism into, uh, into GarageBand. Hope uh, this helps some people. Enjoy.